Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a Halloween look. Seems as it's coming up to Halloween and I know that some people tend to go to parties and things so I thought I'd kind of just share a little bit of inspiration. Um, the look is going to be a spider, spider um, mask face paint and I really like the look of it as a whole um, and it's not too I don't know how to describe it but it's not like too much so like as a as a, a girl or a woman you're not going to feel like too stupid or too uncomfortable because you know sometimes when somebody mentions a fancy dress or um, face painting some people just really don't like it do they? I know some people that don't like it anyway. Um, so yeah, so I just thought that I'd share this look because it's just not too much and I think it's quite a nice look actually uh, for a girl or a woman. Um, and I suppose it could be um, used for a man as well, just like adapting some of the colours. Um, so yeah, so this um, face paint is going to be um, on like this area of your face and then obviously your lips as well so what I've done is I mean you don't always do this when you're doing face painting I mean if it was to cover the hole in my face then I probably wouldn't even have bothered with what I'm about to tell you but because it only covers that area in the lips what I've done is I've kind of like prepped the face um, as normal because if you're going out to a party then because it's only covering this bit these bits and your head kind of thing you might just want to even those out a bit um, pop a base on and then you probably will feel even more comfortable going out um, with the face paint on so I have just used um, Clarins Skin Illusion um, Natural Radiance Foundation in 104 which is cream I'll just show you the colour really quickly. It is um, a light, a nice light colour. So I've just popped that all over the face and then I've just used a little bit of um, concealer and this is Collection 2000 um, Long Lasting, Long Lasting Perfection, something like that. I can never remember the exact um, name of this because the wording rubs off really really easily so if I go into a shop obviously I know what it is and what I'm looking for but yeah it's something like that anyway and I've got it in light which is number two and then just to prep the lips I've just popped a Pucker Ups Strawberry Lip Balm on just to kind of like prep it prep the lips Right, so I'm going to show you what items I've bought um, for this face paint. Now, sometimes, depending on what look you're going for, you can just use your ordinary makeup. I mean, you might have a few extravagant colours or something like that that you can just use um, for any face paint. But what I did is I went to Poundland and they have got quite a few Halloween bits in there and I was just looking for some um, face painty kind of things um, and I found I mean I've took all the packaging off but I found all of these face paint colours and they were a pound all of those and then in another set we had these six colours this four colour palette and um, three applicators so all of those oops all of those were in another um, set for a pound so I spent two pound on the face paints and then I just bought a bag of these um, hypoallergenic 24 makeup sponges um, just in case I need them for the application so yeah I spent three pound and there's loads of colours um, within there so I thought it should do the job so yeah I just thought I'd let you know where I got those from because you might want to pop in there because 
it's really cheap and it does the job. I mean, you don't need anything, you know, too fancy when it comes to um, branded face paints and things. So yes, so um, a spider mask. Let's get started. So I'm gonna go through each step, and like I said, I've prepped the face. So we're going to start by creating wing shapes um, around the eyes. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to outline the wing shapes with the white face paint pencil. And then I'll kind of fill it in um, maybe with the, the cream makeup and a sponge. So there's one eye, oh, excuse me, lenses, plain up, there's one eye, so as you can see I've just started from the inner corner, go up over the eyebrow and then kind of go into a point there, like that, and then from the inner corner again, down, and then into a point here, and then kind of just join it up. So you get that kind of shape. So do exactly the same with the other eye. Like that. And now all you need to do is basically fill in all of this area that is still your skin colour. So all over your eyebrows, on the lid, all underneath here, just fill all that in. And you can either do it with the cream makeup if you have it, and a sponge, but I think I'm going to stick with this because it's quite good to be honest. So I'm just going to fill in all those areas with this. You don't have to do your actual lid, but when you're naturally looking like this, just that bit that's still showing there, just cover that in white as well. There we go. So when you finish that bit, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And then when you've filled in all your um, skin colour areas, you can kind of just um, go around the outside, the outline again, just making sure that it kind of like matches each side. So you can just like tidy it up a little bit. So the next stage is you need to take a purple colour. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around the edge of the outline a tiny bit, um, kind of defining it and adding a bit of colour um, and blending the purple into the white, um, kind of like stippling it a bit. So you can use a sponge for that.
So as you can see I've just kind of gone around the edges, just there, oh, just put a little bit more that side, and then I've just kind of like done it from the eyes as well, um, the outer bit of the eyes. And what we're going to do now is just use a small sponge just to kind of stipple it in and blend it in a little bit. Just so there's like no sharp lines or anything. And if you need to add any more as you're doing this, then just add it and then stipple again. But I think that's fine for me. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to shade your actual eyelids black. So... I'm just going to do that. And also blend it into the crease as well. So when you close your eye, I mean open your eye, it should look something like that. So I'm just going to do the other one. And if you make any mistakes, like I just did, I went a little too far, um, you can just use something little to kind of just rub it off. So I've just used one of the applicators. And then we'll just go over the section that we rubbed off um, the white again. And all should be good. I'm going to use the cream just to reapply the white.
just going to define the um, like that bit the wing shape at the top there I'm just going to define that a little bit more with purple and then I'll blend it in I think I might do this bit as well and then I'll just blend it in So now we're going to start with the actual web, so you're going to need your black face paint crayon for this, or you can use an eyeliner, whatever you have to hand really. So what we need to do is kind of create the black um, kind of web above the eye and then below the eye. So I'm just going to start with this eye and I'll just start doing the um, bits above the eye. So you can start, you don't have to start from the inside of the eye, you can actually start from where you've gone with the outline um, on the edge of your nose, just there. As you can see, what I've done is I've started from the outside of the nose here, like I said. Oh, I'll just try and get a little bit closer so you can see it properly. Okay, so from the outside of the nose here, and then I've just gone above the eyebrow to create that one. And then just below that first line, again, and then a third one here is actually coming off that one there. And then below, you can kind of, from the inside of your eye, join it to the very first line that you made. And then go down a little bit from the inside of your eye, and then along the bottom of your eye there. So you're outlining your actual eye. And then from that line, you just bring off uh, three lines from that line there. Um, you know, keeping within the shape of the wing kind of thing. And then from the outer corner of your eye you can just kind of do three lines like that kind of like flicks and then I'm going to do exactly the same or I'm going to try and make it as even or as exactly the same as this one as possible um, on the other eye And then again, you can just neaten up the lines, fill a little bit in. I've just filled those bits in there because I just think it looks better as um, a big block line. And then that's that section done. So what you need to do now is basically connect all the lines and create the middle section of the web. So you might want to use an eyeliner for this because obviously it's got a smaller tip, so it might be easier for you. But I'm just going to continue using this black. Um, face paint pen. 
so I'll start with this eye and if you start from the outside first and then you can fill in the little bits afterwards so all you need to do is just at the end create this it's hard to describe but create this So your line is going towards your face, so it's kind of like a curve for each section that's open, just fill it in. And then the same on this outline, towards your face again. Like that. And then your middle sections. So the top bits above your eye, it will be going in the same direction as you did the outline. And then the bits below your eye, do it um, as an upward curve like towards your eye. So it's that way above your eye and then that way below your eye. like that so as you can see it's now all filled in so what you want to do now is between your nose just here you want to create the spider so I'm going to take the tiny um, black face paint and I'm going to start here by drawing um, the black body of the spider So there you go, if it's easy you can just start off with a small dot and just kind of get bigger and all you need to do is kind of just do two flicks at the top like that. Now we're going to do the head which is kind of, um, well I'll do it and then explain. So there you have the head part with two little um, antenna things or whatever they have coming out the front. Now if you do some little dots by the side, if you do four little dots each side. Like so. And then you can do the legs. So kind of like teardrop shapes. So I'm going to start at the top first.
and then at the side of the body you can do two And then below, because obviously you're going quite towards the nose now, so you can just do some little um, little legs kind of thing just coming off the front. So you might want to make the spider a little bit tinier or start it further up your forehead so it doesn't go um, so far down your nose but I think that looks fine and I like um, the look of that. So that's that section finished and as you can see, I'll just kind of zoom in a little bit. So as you can see you start off with your main bits of legs and then you just do little teardrop shapes off those. And then the same, exactly the same on the bottom as well, just like little sections for each leg. So for the last little bit for the spider, you can draw um, like a little red bit within the actual body of the spider just for added effect. The pencils aren't showing up um, enough, I mean you might be able to see a little tiny bit there, but it's quite black, the colour, the black colour, so the red's not showing up too much. I'm just going to try um, a bit of the cream red and see if that works. There we go, that works a little bit better with the cream palette there. But if you haven't got a red that shows um, shows enough, then you might want to leave that section out. So the last little section is the lips. So the first thing we need to do is outline the lips in black. like that and then fill uh, the lips in with purple Like that. And that is the look. The spider look. And I really, really like it. I'd have no problem going out in this. I love it. Um, let me have a look. 
my eyelashes are quite dark anyway and obviously when you're doing the black on the eyes it gets on your eyelashes anyway kind of so I was just going to say if you're um, like fair and you've got like blonde eyelashes then you might want to put a bit of mascara on um, so your eye looks really dark and kind of matches the rest of the look um, but yeah mine's fine so I'm not going to bother with that so yeah um, let me know what you think in the comments let me know if you like this look um, whether you're going to any Halloween parties, what you're thinking of dressing up as. Um, if you do create this look, feel free to send me pictures or video response or anything. Um, and if you try this look but kind of adapt it to, I don't know, colours you might like or adapt it your own way, then again let me know. But yeah, I really hope you've liked this video. So thanks so much for watching guys, really hope you liked it and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!